cars pull up and you see what basically you see people laying everywhere and then you got fire and what was difficult initially was getting to the vehicles because the fire was so hot. And then once we were able to get that back, we were able to get to them a whole lot quicker. And uh, as a first responder, I'm sure obviously your your adrenaline's you know pumping and you want to help these people out as much as you can. Did, when did it start to sink in? I don't know if it's really started to sink in. I've, I've been kind of numb since uh, yesterday. I, I talked to several people last night and, and I was checking on this. And, uh, the best way I can describe it, I was numb. Uh, I, I think the adrenaline rush finally started wearing off about nine or ten o'clock last night, and then we got a second in, and then you start trying to process it, and it can take hours, and it can take days to process it. What you see, you know, it's just we see things that human eyes don't see. Yeah, and that's what you're talking about. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, we see it every day. Yeah, and you know, it's just it's just it's just something that you know you don't really think about until you get there. What, what was that like to go up and see all these people trying to help out before you all were able to be there? That's one reason this is a volunteer state. Now, whether these people were local or if they were from out of state, I have no idea. Don't even know any of their names. But I would recognize them every song because uh, they came up, they wanted to help. And, and they, they, they were put to work. Uh, if it was simply uh, carrying supplies to us or helping us... Uh, carry the wounded to the triage area. Anything that uh, that we asked them to do, they did. And of course, we were trying to make sure we were keeping them out of harm's way at the same time. But, uh, I mean, at, at one point in time yesterday, we were in the bus, and the captain of the highway patrol was in the bus with me. That's just something you don't see. And everyone worked together so well yesterday. The best description I can give you is it's controlled chaos exactly what it was. We, we were as under control as we could be and still had to do, deal with the chaos. And that's something that's very difficult to do. And, and with that, what is, what is, I mean, I don't know if any of the families are on the scene or not, but what would you say to those in that church in North Carolina that um, are going through so much right now? Our thoughts and prayers are with them. Um, all we can do is give them our sympathy. I hope that God will be with them and help them, and, and He will. He will help them deal with this. The pain will never really go away. It'll just it'll ease up and get easier each and every day. Uh, their loss is great, and I hope that the communities will stay together and come together. That sense that gives the, the public safety coming together the way it is. That's the way the entire United States should be, and uh, I hope it helps.